It is the 9th of the 7th, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Now let's go ahead and get started on SOT.net. 4.4 earthquake hits Labrador, Newfoundland, Canada. At 8.13 Sunday morning, a 4.4 magnitude earthquake hit central Labrador, about 150 kilometers south southwest of Happy Valley in Goose Bay. Uh, they're saying, uh, quote, there's a scattering of earthquake activity exists from the Gulf of St. Lawrence through Quebec and Labrador past Happy Valley, Goose Bay, but it's unusually small. The latest earth earthquake I can find of this size in the region happened about 50 years ago, in 1962, actually, uh, said one of the experts. 3.1 and 3.9 earthquakes strike near the geysers in California. Two earthquakes in quick succession were reported Sunday afternoon near the geysers, according to the U.S. Geological Survey. Now, the first was a shallow magnitude 3.1, two miles from the geysers, according to the USGS, and a uh, trembler occurred 5 p.m. Pacific time at a depth of 1.9 miles. Record winter snow and cool summer means snow pile still towers over Anchorage, Alaska in July. Uh, bulldozer crews on the clock this Independence Day trying to break down mountains of snow which still tower over some parts of Anchorage after a winter of record snowfall. And you got to remember uh, uh, Anchorage broke its annual snowfall record of 132.6 inches and now that it's summer uh, they're trying to melt this down before winter hits again. They're saying some of these piles are 80 feet high or higher. Continuous earthquake activity recorded in the El Euro volcano. Well, this is the Canary Islands off the coast of Africa. Well, there have not been great changes in El Euro volcano. Currently no eruption has taken place. There are also no signs of magma movement under the tremor plots on seismometer stations that are located on Hero Island. Uh, Mary Greeley's uh, channel begs to differ. She's covering this very well. Um, she found stories where the, uh, the magma is actually moving to another chamber kind of thing uh, on the southwest part of the island and now they're actually talking about possibility of a major landslide. Indian Army rescues 400 tourists from massive landslide and uh, Ladke. The Army on Sunday said its troop rescued about 400 domestic and foreign tourists from 18,000 feet high uh, by massive that was hit by a massive landslide on Saturday. Magnitude 4.3 earthquakes rocks northern California. Uh, the 4.3 hit just outside Fort Bragg in California on Sunday about 5.05 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time according to the USGS. Local police reported uh, neither injuries nor significant damage were caused by the earthquake. Experts fear that 400,000 people may die if quake strikes uh, Nanki through, through at night. And basically there's a big fault line running off the side of Japan uh, that's been having all this activity. And they're saying if this one quake goes after, say, midnight or so, uh, so many people in low-lying areas would be asleep and unable to respond. Uh, to an oncoming tsunami and that would be a even more drastic uh, disaster than what we've already witnessed last year. Devastating India floods leaves 95 dead, millions homeless. We cook, they swim. Flooding described by Indians Prime Minister as the worst in recent times has left 95 people dead and almost 2 million others homeless in the country's remote Assam state. Uh, river overflowed during monsoon rains over the past week, flooding more than 2,000 villages, destroying homes in the northeast of the country. And they have videos on that, of course. Drought ravages Brazil's northeast. Uh, they got a 95-year-old guy saying, uh, for a long time I've ne never experienced a drought like this one. He said the last one I remember was like this was in 1932. Uh, there's definitely an historical crop loss drought situation going on. Uh, and over In a couple of weeks, more than 100 heads of states and thousands of environmentalists from all over the world will be in Rio de Janeiro for the UNR Rio 20 Environmental Summit. Uh, 
build on the biggest and most important meeting of its kind. Most participants meet in air-conditioned hotels and conference centers discussing how to save the planet. Part of the talks, for sure, will be about access to water. Water, water everywhere, not a drop to drink. Uh, and over to the extinction protocol. Flooding and heavy rains lash Cape Town, South Africa. Uh, heavy rains in Cape Town on Sunday flooded roads and houses and caused uh, one of the rivers to burst its bank and there were extreme weather warnings bitter cold over much of the country. Death toll from the floods in southern Russia raises to 150 and that's where the meter and a half wall of water come rushing down the mountain in the middle of the night and flooded all of them out. Uh, extensive damage, that I believe they got a, a month's worth of rainfall in one night. And of course there are videos galore on this story. Sweltering U.S. heat claims 30 lives. Uh, this is off of the 7th of July. Americans dipped into water, went to movies, and rode the subway just to be air-conditioned Saturday for the relief from the unrelenting heat that has killed 30 people, half, 30 people halfway across the country. And uh, yeah, the heat continues up through the east. Uh, they were reporting tornadoes in Virginia, uh, some storms going on down there. Chaos in the skies over Britain. Forecasters describe horrific summer as the worst since records began. Uh, Britain is facing its worst ever summer with cold, wet winter running family holidays and blighting the Olympics, forecasters warned last night. August is set to be a washout following a miserable July and the wettest June since records began, meaning summer is effectively over. Gloomy forecasts suggest dire weather will continue as officials last night put Britain on flood alert after torrential downpours yesterday wreaked havoc, and it continues throughout uh, northern Europe. 5.1 magnitude earthquake strikes Dominican Republic. Um, there were no major reports of damage or injuries, uh, but it was a shallow quake. Uh, where were we? Anyway, 19.9 kilometers, or 12 miles deep. New Zealand, North Island shaken by another earthquake. The North Islanders were again rattled by a strong earthquake yesterday, but experts say the tremor was not related to a much larger quake four days earlier. Geonet reported the magnitude 5.7 struck uh, 10 kilometers south of Tarangi about 12.50 p.m. The quake was 90 kilometers deep, though police said there were no reports of damage. Some residents said trinkets had been smashed. Uh, it came four days after a magnitude 7 point earthquake in that area. Uh, they are not out of the woods by far yet. And geolo geolo geologists warn China's dam building frenzy in se seismically active region is putting millions at risk. Um, the Three Gorge Dam has finally come full speed. They've got all the generators running in, in that great big, world's biggest dam in China and they are planning on building a series of dams down that river um, to produce four times more power than the Three Gorge Dam already produces now. And what these uh, scientists are saying is that if one of these dams gives way, uh, it will be a domino effect all the way down this valley, and millions upon millions of people live along the banks. Uh, very scary situation indeed, but uh, they're going to go ahead and go through it anyway. And over to the watchers, a minor G1 geomagnetic storm is in progress again. Um, and that's due to the corona hole, the, the sun's solar winds, that kind of thing. Uh, pretty, pretty lights. Earthquake magnitude 5.7 in eastern Mediterranean Sea. A strong earthquake measuring 5.7 was recorded on July 9th, 2012 in the eastern Mediterranean Sea. Uh, so basically, basically south of Greece, just kind of right there in the Mediterranean Sea, very uh, seismically active area. And um, Japan earthquake and tsunami disturbed upper atmosphere. Uh, when the quake actually happened, it actually sent ripples in the upper atmosphere. And uh, where is it, where is it? Jet Propulsion Laboratory at California Institute of Technology created an excellent animation of the event. And so strange things happen. That earthquake just didn't happen on ground level. It went all the way up through. 
And new hydrothermal vents at Anak Krakatau Volcano, the son of Krakatau, the largest sound ever heard by mankind. Uh, another super volcano kind of thing. Um, and uh, it's definitely active and gearing up for sure. And seabird studies shows plastic pollution reaching surprising levels off the coast of the Pacific Northwest. And with all that tsunami debris, it's, it's a wonder. They're, they're uh, comparing it to the North Sea, as polluted as the North Sea is. And uh, the garbage patch continues. And uh, residents of Assumption Parents Parish, Louisiana, United States, report earth tremors and venting streams of natural gas surfacing the waterways. Residents in a swampy area of northern Assumption Parish reported earth tremors as well as venting steams of natural gas rolling through the surface of waterways for about a month. Residents reported tremors last month again on Tuesday and Wednesday. Assumption Parish emergency officials have asked to meet with an expert from the U.S. Geological Survey for possible seismic equipment to get a better understanding of new tremors reported in the Bayou Corn and Grand Bayou areas. Um, they are testing the gas every couple times a day to see how uh, combustible it is, and so far no alarm bells have been raised. And, uh, yeah, that's about it I'm going to cover on the climate change. Over to the nuclear stuff. Uh, Eni News, Fukushima residents were still in danger from reactor number four because Tepico can't get their act together. Uh, big danger in one, two, three, and four. Study contaminated water from Fukushima reactors could double radioactivity levels on the United States coastal waters in five years. Quote, we were surprised at how quickly the tracer is spread. Um, this is a German study done, and they used um, low ball numbers uh, that was given by TEPCO. Um, in the early days of the disaster, um, if you see the map that they display, that initial push uh, will soak the west coast of the United States within five years. And, but what they didn't take into account was um, the, the accumulating. This thing isn't stopped leaking. It's continued to leak. It's been leaking nonstop. Okay? Um, we've been confirmed uh, that the that the melt has left containment and down into the ground and into the into the water table and leaching out into the Pacific Ocean. Um, this is not going to go away anytime, anytime soon, and uh, it will continue to accumulate through the Pacific Ocean. Uh, this just goes to confirm that Fukushima basically has killed the Pacific Ocean, and uh, that just snowballs, and the effects will accumulate. Gunderson, essentially northern Japan is contaminated. He has a video on that, and again, Arnie Gunderson has been consecutively pulling his punches as not to create a panic. I believe the entire island of Japan is pretty much contaminated right now, uh, be it through Fukushima directly or through the distribution of tsunami debris, uh, open incinerator burning, and a long list of other um, shady practices that have been going, taking place over the last 16 months or more. <clears throat> Failed power supply number four fuel pool shows evidence of fire. Tepco say it was covered with soot. I saw the photographs of the burnout um, panel. Uh, looks like a couple of com components shorted. Uh, there wasn't a big fire, but it was definitely enough to uh, burn out the unit. And they did see soot and some damage, but it didn't look like it was a big fire. It looks more like a couple of components burnt out and fried kind of thing. Nuclear energy. An engineer concerned about Unit 4 support structure. It's going just to punch through the floor and through cracks, question marks. Oh, is it going to punch through the floor or and through the cracks? What is the load transferred to, question mark? Something that's also flimsy, question mark. Uh, and you can remember last year when they, they did the big push on saying, look, we shored up the fuel pool. Basically, they put scaffolding and, and different concrete parts underneath that to kind of help support that pool a little bit. Um, I've also seen reports of cracks in the actual pool leaking into the basement where they are pumping the water directly from the basement back up into the fuel pool uh, to keep the water maintained at a certain level. Um, so, as far as I can tell, it's already leaking. Um, it's just a matter of time. 
incredibly contaminated house dust nearly 100 miles from Fukushima Daiichi. Gunderson, we're getting a lot of Japanese sending us their vacuum bags. Because why? Uh, the Japanese government is covering up anything and everything that has to do with radiation right now. Uh, large outbreak of jellyfish swarmed Japan's only restarted nuclear power plant. May delay full operation of the reactor. And uh, other people are saying that, uh, as a joke, that the, that the jellyfish are uh, protesting nuclear energy by clogging up the intake valves. Uh, is this a sign saying, don't do it, shut them down, shut them down. And Caldecott, we're talking about a disaster of unbound proportions from Fukushima Daiichi. 2.5 to 3 million deaths a possibility. So Arnie Gunder saying, Arnie Gunderson saying up to a million deaths. Coldicott saying two and a half to three million deaths. I would say add some zeros. The entire northern hemisphere is contaminated. Gunderson, we just tested an air filter that has the highest radioactivity seen in North America after Fukushima Daiichi. Found in Seattle, Washington. HEPA filter used since 311. And they have a video on that. And of course, uh, police clamped down on Tokyo streets. We're not allowed to get anywhere near the protest. Um, they are locking people down in the subway, that kind of thing, just so they don't get counted. Uh, they do not want the true numbers known to the public as far as just how big uh, this anti-nuclear movement is. Nuclear energy is a crime against humanity. Over to uh, Fukushima Diary, uh, the Daily News. 15.65 becquerels per kilogram of cesium from washing towel in Tokyo. So basically somebody took a, a, a washcloth, hung it out to dry for uh, two hours, and uh, tested it for radiation and got 15.65 becquerels per kilogram. Insane. And of course they got the videos out in the subway protest where the police locked everybody down in the subway so you couldn't see them up in the street kind of thing. Uh, more uh, contaminated fish, 3,300 becquerels per kilogram from black sea bream fished offshore of Miyagi. And uh, it just goes on and on. And finally over to EX, SKF, uh, of course the humor with the jellyfish protesting against the OI nuclear power plants. Uh, they're having a field day with these with this. And uh, OI nuclear power plant restart. Senior vice minister tells KEPCO lowly jellyfish should never stop a modern nuclear power plant. Unquote. Uh, they are determined. They are determined. That's about all I have for you tonight. Just remember, enjoy Wake Andrew.